well dear students today i am before you with my another video and in this video i will give you a peep into the very famous short story the umbrella by a very popular french writer gaudi maupassant as you people know that uh, lucknow university has implemented and introduced nep 2020 and all its recommendations uh, this year and those who have taken english literature as their major subject they have to study two papers first is of poetry that is from shakespeare to 18th century and second paper is of short fiction and those who have taken english literature as their minor subject they have to study only one paper that is of short fiction the short story that i am going to tell you about is umbrella the umbrella is included in the second unit of the paper short fiction first of all i will give you the introduction of the writer gaudi maupassant in brief and then i will tell you the summary of the short story the umbrella well henry ren albert gaudi maupassant was born in 1850 at dieppe and died in 1893 paris in france is a very famous french novelist short story writer poet and a journalist he is considered as one of the doyen of short stories his parents separated when he was just 11 and he and his younger brother was brought by his mother while at stay with his mother at at tetet he enjoyed the natural surroundings sea rivers mountains beautiful sights and grew nature lover when he joined junior high school for early education he met his mother's acquaintance gustav flaubert a great writer who remained his inspiring force throughout his entire life after graduation in 1870 He took part in Franco-Prussian War and fought bravely. After the war in 1871, he left Normandy and headed to Paris, where he worked as a clerk in the navy for almost a decade. Gustave Flaubert took him under his tutelage and guided him to be a journalist and ace literature. He met Emily Zola, a Russian novelist, Ivan Turgenev, and other natural writers. At his home, he was a recluse and suffered the bouts of insanity and died. one month before his 43rd birthday in 1893 he is considered as best french naturalist short story writer his literary output includes 300 short stories six novels three travelogues and his only one volume of verse his first masterpiece world is swift ball of fate was published in 1880 and la maison taylor taylor house came in 1881 which was conspicuous by his favorite themes precision and economy of thought and depiction of man woman relationships in its various social hues his first novel on a why a woman's life was published in 1883 succeeded by bellamy in 1885 and payer and jean in 1888 his famous short story collections are mad wisely fifi 1883 less source randoli 1884 revet 1884 miss harriet 1884 twain 1886 lee horla 1887 etc his stories give peep into the very lives of the french people in his stories we find detailed descriptions intricate plots and subtle humor his works are realistic and marked by clarity compactness and balance his characters lives in the world of desires and aspirations summary of the short story the umbrella is a very famous story by guy de maupassant a prominent french novelist and short story teller the story is full of humor and makes us laugh in our sleeves the story embodies the theme of fear freedom frugality loss and satisfaction the writer depicts the role of women in our social life the story is narrated in the third person by an anonymous narrator the story revolves around the protagonist madame aurel she is a very miser middle aged well built short stature fair complexion a wrinkled woman who lives with her husband monsieur aurel at their humble house in paris the couple are well off and they have no issues madame aurel is ill tempered a very domineering kind of wife and husband a kind of henpecked and is in the habit of collecting money but harsh on spending it she doesn't give her husband pocket money easily and even made twice hard to get it from her whenever her husband tells her to enjoy the life as they have sufficient bank balance 
she replies plainly that they should be on the safer side when she spends money on essential items she tosses her head on a sleepless pillow at night she is armed with maxims to prove the value and worth of money mr oriel is the head clerk at the war office and doing his job after retirement to fulfill his wife's wishes for the last two years he goes to office with old paste umbrella and has become the butt of ridicule and joke in his office all from peon to manager from basement to attic laughs at his very sorry and pitiable condition one day he musters courage and tells his wife to give him money to buy a new umbrella after some resistance she gives him 8 francs to buy umbrella from a company's advertising shop the umbrella becomes worn out after 3 months the further orders his wife to give him money 20 francs to new one of the finest silk and and he would pay for put before her the bill in evidence she becomes angry and gives him 18 francs instead of 20 and tells him that it must last at least for next 5 years the next day mr oriel like a champion a triumphant person goes to the office with new umbrella full of pride when he returns from office his wife takes the umbrella and shocked to see a hole in it frowns at him becomes very furious and mr oriel is too shocked and amazed to see a hole as he had no idea where that hole came from madam oriel mended the gap with a scrap of old umbrella silk which was of different color in the evening when he returns with that paste umbrella madam oriel once again becomes full of rage seeing many tiny holes shining like stars all around the silk of umbrella madam oriel becomes more furious and started to fume at him then earlier and tells him not to give him money to buy a new umbrella at the fateful evening their family friend comes at dinner at their home and suggests to go to the insurer's office for claim mr oriel declines to go to insurer's office for such petty loss madam oriel an unsocial woman is fearful to go insurer's office but loss of 18 francs gives her strength to go and she musters courage and goes to la matter neil fire insurance company and meets the manager the manager tells her that company doesn't deal with such kind of small and petty cases madam oriel argues and counter argues with the manager and ultimately the manager yields and readies to get it recovered with finest silk available in market and she has to bring bill to pay for it thus the story ends at a very happy note showing madam oriel's niggardliness and concerns for money thank you and thank you very much